Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science. And before we start the exer this exercise, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share with your classmates. Now, let's go for our problem. The platform scale consists of a combination of third and first class levers, so that the load of one lever becomes to the effort that moves to the next lever. Through this arrangement, a small weight can balance a massive object. If X is equal to 40, 450 millimeters and the mass of the counterweight S is 2 kilograms, determine the mass of the load required to maintain the balance. So here, we're going to break this in two main, three main objects. This is going to be one object. This is going to be our other object of study. And here is our third object. So here I'm going to sketch which objects we're going to do. So here we have A, we have our AB. So here the reactions AY and AX. Here, the weight that you're going to call mg, and here, one member force, force bg. The second one is E, G, and here, our H, so HY and HX. Here, our reaction for force B, G, and here I'm gonna have a one member force, force E, D. And finally, we have C, we have our force E, D, the reaction E, D, and then here we have our counterweight S. So, we're going to start from this free body diagram, going to the second, and we're going to finalize at the third. And here, of course, our reactions CY and CX. Now, here, our first force, here we have our MG, that's 2 kilograms times gravity. We don't need to multiply because our answer is gonna do is gonna be in uh, kilograms. Here I have my force E D as I showed you in our sketch, and here our reactions for a pin C that I won't write because we're gonna apply the sum of moments in C is equal to zero. So here our counterclockwise is positive. So here I have F E D times 100 minus 2 G times 450 is equal to 0. So here I have our F E D is equal to 1900 times gravity divided by 100. So here we have the value of our force ED that's equal to 19 times gravity. Now, knowing this value, we're going to go for our free body diagram 2. Here we have the reaction FED. Here we have our force B and G, and here we have our pin reactions that we won't use because I'm going to use the point F. So the sum of moments about point F is equal to zero. So here I have F E D times 250 is equal to 150 times F B 
G. So I have F B G is to 25 over 15 times F E D. So my force B G is equal to 5 thirds times 19 times gravity. Finally, we're going to use the last free body diagram. So here I have the force F B G. Here I have mass times gravity. And here the point that I'm going to use uh, to apply our moment equation. So the sum of moments about point A counterclockwise is positive is equal to zero. So here I have 500 F B G minus 100 mass times gravity is equal, sorry, 150 mass times gravity is equal to zero. So I have mass times gravity is equal to 50 over 15 F B G. So mass times gravity is equal to 10 thirds times 15, sorry, 10 thirds times 5 thirds times 19 G. So here we can cancel our G. So our mass is going to be 105.6 kilograms. So our mass is equal to 106 kilograms in three sig figures. So this is our final answer. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you.